All right, so I wanted to do um, sort of a how-to video on um, how to fish the, the trout and salmon in Lake Ontario, but I kind of wanted to break it down by month. Um, these fish all live in the same lake, but they live in different parts of the lake, different times of the year, and sort of knowing where you should expect to find them certain times of the year will definitely help to increase your success and sort of, um, sort of shorten your learning curve and figuring out how to catch these fish. So um, the most exciting time of the year, frankly, for me is April because it's um, our first opportunity to get out on the water. Um, February and March, there's still icebergs floating in the water, but usually by April, all of that ice is gone. It's gone out of the bay so that you can get your boat into the water in the bays and then go out into the lake. Um, sometimes it's a little bit earlier, sometimes it's a little bit later, but I can usually depend on getting my boat in the water somewhere between the 1st and the 15th of April. Um, so the name of the game, honestly, in April in the eastern basin of the lake, which is where I fish primarily, is going to be brown trout and lake trout. Now I have done several videos, which I'll link down below, um, talking about both how to planer board fish and specifically how to target brown trout. I'll do a little bit of a summary here, just, just, um, you know, just as a refresher. So, um, early in the spring, the brown trout are going to be along the shoreline. They're patrolling that water because it's, it tends to be um, warmer and it tends to be a little bit more productive biologically. Um, that's where all of the bait fish are going to congregate. Now, some of the bait is out way deep in the lake, um, right on the bottom um, in the warmest water they can find. But by April, a lot of that bait has then moved into the very shallow water where there's sediment in the water and there's starting to become a little bit of life. And those brown trout come in there chasing them. Now, it's not all brown trout. It's probably, uh, our catch are probably 85 to 90% brown trout. Um, but there are also um, some steelhead mixed in there coming out of the streams. You might catch a coho and you might even catch a random king um, mixed into that, uh, those fish. Um, in fact, I'd like to give a small bit of a fair warning That's a about nice one, huh? John, come get the it. possibility of kings in the spring. Um, okay. The issue is, is that for brown trout, you don't usually real. need that much what? line. They don't pull a lot of lines. So uh, if you're schooled up with, say, 100 yards of line, that might be plenty. Um, however, with kings, that might be an issue. So I always make sure to have at least 200, if not a little bit more, yards of capacity. Small, but always make sure that you have enough line in case a king does hit that you don't get spooled. Um, sometimes even in the Atlantic. I would say the best time of the year to catch in the Atlantic is the spring in the month of April. Um, but I would say despite all that, 85 to 90 percent of our catch is going to be brown trout. They're not particularly big. They probably average two to five pounds, but you can catch some big ones in there sometimes. Depends on the day. So um, in the spring, we're looking for the warmest. Um, and then the other thing we're looking for is the murkiest water we can find. Where you know that, that, that sort of stained or colored water, that brown or green water, will usually be reliably off the mouth of streams or bays um, or off of um, points or in front of bluffs. All of those create conditions that sort of any sort of wave action creates a little bit of, of sediment in the water, which, you know, makes that water a little bit, um, you know, safer to those fish. They, they like, um, they like murky water because they feel like they're safe in that, I think. Um, and also that's, you know, that sediment brings in the bait and that's what these fish are eating. So, um, the setup is very simple. We flatline, generally, we flatline stick baits. Um, a little bit later in the month, I start to mix in a little bit more spoons. So um, the darker the water is, the brighter the color spoons we'll use. So um, here's some examples of some things I might use early in the spring. My Some of my favorites are these brightly colored bay rat um, lures. Very brightly colored stuff. Also, you can use like... Um, Junior Thunder Sticks um, or Rapalas in these bright colors. These are all really good colors for murky conditions um, in the spring. The other option, um, especially in clearer water, 
is to use more naturally colored stuff. So you've got your perch colored patterns here. You've got your your um, gold patterns, which are meant to mimic um, gobies. And then you've got your silver patterns, which are meant to mimic more like the sticklebacks or the um, alewives that live in the lake. So these are more like of your typical, um, more clear water conditioned spoons. And then the other thing we use a fair amount of um, are stick baits. So small, small stick baits. Um, popular lure choices are like Dreamweaver, uh, Super Slims, or Stingers, that sort of thing. Um, and there's various different colors I use in the spring that all work pretty well. And then on a rare occasion, and this is especially if the steelhead are dropping out of the streams, I'll use my red colored spoons um, to target steelhead specifically. Um, if you want more specifics on how to fish brown trout um, in the spring, um, again, I, I linked to some videos down below for how to fish brown trout and how to fish with planer boards. Now, the other thing we do a fair amount of in the spring, um, and, and typically the pattern is, is that that morning bite, the first two, three, or four hours of the day is good for brown trout. Once the sun gets up enough, sometimes those brown trout shut down. The other very reliable fishery we have in the eastern basin, especially in the spring, is lake trout. Now, early in the spring, lake trout out of cold water, they actually fight pretty well. Um, and they're a lot bigger than the brown trout are. The, you know, the average lake trout is 8 to 10, maybe even 12 pounds. So we get much bigger lake trout. And the other nice thing is, is early in the spring is they're not in super deep water yet. I start targeting lake trout in about 60 feet of water. And they can be anywhere from 60 out to 150 feet of water. They'll generally be within 10 feet of the bottom. Um, you know, the, the name of the game with lake trout is to slow down and to use um, really big stuff. So we use cowbells. Um, and then this year, what I got into quite a bit is these um, gambler rigs or these uh, grease traps, um, which... Um, have significantly less drag than the cowbells do. And then the other thing that I've had some, some decent success with in lake trout is running either really big mag spoons or um, dodger and flies. All of those tend to work. Again, I, I, I start working at about 60 feet of water and I slowly work my way out. You, work, you, you sort of work on these um, sand flats and I actually bounce my, my ball right off the bottom. I'll let it down until I feel it tick the bottom and then I stop and usually with the blowback it, it'll bring it a couple feet off the bottom. You're, you're going to be fishing these lake trout within 10 to 20 feet of the bottom exclusively. So I'm constantly working my um, downriggers down to make sure that I'm finding the bottom really close to the bottom. I usually don't have to run more than about three rods so I'll just run three riggers most of the time for lake trout um, and that's plenty. Usually you get plenty of action just working um, those three rods with um, cowbells, uh, with grease traps, with um, mag spoons, and with dodger and fly. Um, go slow for lake trout, though. They, you know, they do not want it fast. And these, and these big rigs we use don't really tolerate fast speeds. So, I, I generally will get my boat going as slow as it'll go um, for the lake trout, 60 to 150 feet of water. If you've got a good depth finder, um, if you can start marking those bumps right on the bottom or right near the bottom, I just stay on them. Um, even if they're not biting at that moment, they'll bite. They'll eventually go. So um, once you locate the fish, just stay on them, and, and usually you'll get them to go. Um, it can be very, very, very good productive fishing that time of year. So April, the name of the game is um, brown trout and other various trout and salmon species near shore. And then lake trout near the bottom in that 60 to 150 range. Um, and, you know, each day is different. Um, condition specific stuff will dictate where you'll find those fish. But um, that, that ought to give you a pretty